Hey guys, coming from the lounge room today because I have oh, the kitties with me and we thought we'd stay upstairs and stay out of the cold garage while I do this video. So it's not so much a follow along video, I'm just going to tell you how this weekend warrior challenge works and how the scoring works and how you can do it. So you can do it in the lounge room, you can do it wherever you like, all you need is basically two square meters and you can do it in that area. So it's called a count up circuit. So there's gonna be a few exercises, but what happens is you do one rep, rep of each movement, and you do two reps of each movement, and then three reps of each movement, and then four reps of each movement. And then work your way up, you have 15 minutes to get as far into that ladder as you can, stopping whenever it's not safe anymore. So if you can't do the technique well, or you're getting sore, that's where you stop, that's your, that's your ending point. Or you run out of time. So, the first rule is, be safe. The second rule is, be safe. The third rule is, be safe. It's really important. Training at home, you can't take it for granted how much you need to make sure you stay away from potentially hurting yourself. Even though this is a challenge, make it the challenge that you're gonna train and not hurt yourself. So make sure you stay within yourself the whole time, within your capacity. So don't push to the point where you can get this challenge done and then you can't do anything for two weeks because you hurt yourself. That defeats the purpose of whatever it is we're trying to do with fitness. Do the challenge, but make sure you can come back and do something again, potentially the following day or the day after. The challenge will make it, sometimes some of these challenge will make you pretty sore. But this is only 15 minutes, so you should be all right. So, going through the movements. The first one is a thruster. I've got a chair here and a box. So, what you want to do is make sure, I'll just set this up so you can see it. So you can see it down there. When you do your thrust up, you want to be able to sit down to something so we know you're getting the same depth every time. And stand up and press. Come back down, sit down, sit up, press. So, I'm going to show you. Might move this back a bit so you can see a bit more. There you go. All right. Watch out, Rubes. Watch out, Rubes. Coming in. Watch out. Watch out. All right. So you can see here, I'm sitting down with the sandbag. Sit down. Stand up. Press. Sit down. Stand up. Press. If something like a milk crate's too low because you start rounding out to get down, you can sit on a chair. I'm going to sit in between Ruby's legs and then come back up. Sit in between Ruby's legs and come back up. So you're going to push up, press the weight up overhead each time. If you've got a kettlebell, it doesn't matter what weight you use, whatever it is you're going to use. Sit down, press it up overhead. Alright. So that's the first movement, is the thruster. The second movement is bent row. So, into the hinge position, gonna just pass your knees, roll to your belly. Just pass your knees, roll to your belly. This is as far as you need to go. Roll to your belly, just pass your knees. So that's with the sandbag. With the kettlebell, you gotta do each side. Just pass your knees, roll to your belly. Just pass your knees, roll to your belly. Change sides. So if you use the kettlebell, it is gonna take more time. Right. The last movement is a single leg deadlift. So, if you look at this, I need you to see the floor. So the way we're trying to do it here, is having the implement right next to your leg. You're gonna reach back, touch your foot to the ground, grab the weight, pick it up. Touch your foot to the ground. So it's like a long stretch. So that is the single leg deadlift. So reach. Tap, come back up. Reach, tap, come back up. So always tap your foot to the ground so you stay balanced and then drive back up. If you're using a kettlebell, one hand, reach, come back up. Reach, come back up. You only have to go as far as you can keep your foot to the ground and then come back up. If you don't touch the floor, back stays flat, come back up. So you do that, one each side. And then lastly, 
You gotta carry. Because we're carrying in here, we're gonna march. There, watch out. We're gonna march on the spot. So 10 marches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's round one. And then you go through two. So two thrusters. I watch for the fan. Squat, press, twice. And then two bend over rows. One, two. And two single leg deadlifts. One, two. One, two. And then, so you're two single deadlifts. And then what you're going to do is go into the march again. Bring it up, whatever weight you got. Hold it off. And marching on the spot. So this time you're going to do 20 marches. So you're going up one rep at a time for the strength movements. One, two, three, four, five, six each round. The marching goes up 10 reps each round. So when you're on the round of two, you got two reps for 20 marches. If you're on the round of three, Three reps, 30 marches. Ruby, start. All right. <laughs> Kids. All right, and then round four, four reps of everything, including each side, if you're doing a single kettlebell for the row or you're doing single leg deadlift. So four reps, and then 40, sorry, 40 steps on the march, on the spot. Round five, five reps of everything, then 50 marching on the spot. Keep adding that up, one rep each time and 10 steps each time until you run out of time or until your technique breaks down. Make sure you stay safe. So the scoring, the way the scoring works is you take whatever round you got up to, so say round 15, Times it, so add the reps up. So you did one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven. So if you got to 10, that's uh, 55 reps. And then times it by the weight you used. And then that is your score. I've got an example in the post. So you take all the reps you've done, add them all up. One plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight. We're only counting the reps of these um, strength movements. Add them up. See what round you got up to. Times it by the weight. And that is your score. Post your score in the comments of this video. And that is what you need to do for the Weekend Warrior Challenge. All right, guys. Good luck with it. I'll do my video when these guys are hopefully are asleep. So I'll do my video and my score today at lunchtime. But yeah, good luck.